Hello everyone and welcome to today's lecture. Uh, we're going to keep this a little bit on the short side video wise uh, because the main goal of this week is to assess everyone's ability to work with Illustrator and Photoshop. The short version, we're taking a test in both of these. Now these are going to be take home tests uh, that you'll do and uh, each of them is going to have different objectives and elements that you are going to be required to do. Now I'm going to go over both of these momentarily but just a bit of a heads up, these will be due within one week's time. Uh, that's going to be Tuesday, April 14th. Just a reminder that this is also the day you're going to be handing in your painting. So just make sure that you keep those dates in here. Uh, just a reminder that, it, that the painting does have the date over here as well. So hopefully that should be helpful for you. Okay, so now that we've talked about this, again, you can download the f these files at any time and just open them up using your software. Now, in this case, at least with the Illustrator, best advice I can give you is look at the instructions specifically and just uh, fulfill the instructions to the best of your ability. First one's probably the simplest one, put in your name so I know who did what test. Uh, once that's done, you're going to uh, make sure that you follow all the instructions over here. So, for example, there's one part that says delete all unused swatches, uh, save as an AI file, that's basically a traditional Illustrator file, save as a PDF, and export as the artboard as PNG. So as long as you have those elements, you should be in good shape, and just follow the instructions. Some, some of these are going to be pretty simple, like for example, either uh, some minor scaling or whatnot. I'm not going to lie, this one over here might be a little bit tricky, but take your time. Again, you have until next week to basically finish these up, so just do your best. The other area over here is also going to be tricky. Uh, so I can give you a little hint, but I can't give you the answer. So the first area over here is basically using the pen tool to uh, basically make the design going around like this. So just do your best that you can for this, and you should do uh, pretty well. At least I hope that you do pretty well. And uh, this last area over here, uh, you're going to need the ruler to help you bring out the guides. So that's the best I can tell you in terms of giving you a little bit of help. But pretty much everything else in here uh, we have covered in class. So just do your best. And remember that by the time this is all over, you're going to have a minimum of three to four different files that you're going to be turning in. So you will need to compress the files to be able to turn these in. So please keep that in mind. So again, this is for the Illustrator. Now this one is going to be pretty much... Uh, cut and dry when it comes to how the instructions are given, so I'm not too concerned about this one. The Photoshop is a little bit trickier, I have to admit. But, if you remember your training, there are some elements that are going to make things a little bit easier. So your main goal in this is to basically take a bunch of pictures, which you can find in the folder over here. I'll take, we'll just take a look at what they look like prior. So we have ourselves a little salmon steak, we have ourselves a little plates, we have ourselves a uh, bunch of tomatoes, and we have ourselves this little wooden area over here. Now your goal is to take all these elements and basically make them look like this. Uh, now, just a bit of a heads up, if you remember the pizza assignment, this actually shouldn't be too bad. Now, uh, the way that this is set up in terms of the instructions, the second page, this is your official instructions and everything that you need to do, all the settings are going to be put over here and it's going to give you all the instructions you need to do for this. Now, one thing I can tell you, uh, when it says non-destructive, remember our lecture with the masks and remember the lecture with the uh, adjustment layers. If you remember those, this part shouldn't be too bad. Again, if you remember the pizza lecture, this should... This should be able to be, uh, it won't be e simple. It'll be s simple, but it won't exactly be easy. So you take your time and get do this to the best of your ability. Now the first page, this is basically a little page for yourself that gives all the, ins like a little bit of a checklist, so to speak. So just making sure that you're doing all of this. Now by the time everything's said and done, you're going to want to make sure that you have three different files. Now this one I'm also going to give a bit of a hint on. Your first file is going to be with the specifications we have over here. So it's nine by nine with a 300 pixel per inch resolution. 
This is all the stuff you're going to get in the very beginning. And your second file is going to be uh, this over here, the 6x6 six six at 72 pixels per inch. And the third file is going to be a flattened uh, JPEG. In other words, you could save as and be able to get that. So that's the only ones I can really give any kind of hint for. Uh, because again, some of the instructions are a little bit on the odd side, and I want to make sure that everyone has the basics on the instructions. So that's one of the reasons why I can answer those. But as long as you're able to get something close to what we have over here, and again, following the instructions as best you can, this shouldn't be too bad of a test either. It will take you time though, so you're going to want to allocate a little bit of time for these. Usually I'd give one per class, so that's one of the reasons why you're, while you're getting both today, you can basically do these anytime that you wish, as long as it's done before uh, the next class. Now, again, there is going to be a potential chance that uh, the hand in that you're doing this might not work properly. Now, uh, if that ends up happening, uh, let's see, let's see, retransfer is basically a method I've been using for some people to hand in their stuff. So basically how this works is you can add your file here, basically just add whatever file necessary. Uh, you'd put my email, then you would put your email, and then just make sure that you put your name. Now hopefully you won't need to use this and you should hopefully be able to just uh, Im import that through the traditional method, which is using the Dropbox that's over here. But if for some reason it doesn't work, again, it's called WeTransfer. It is a free service to use. And it just puts this right to my email. The main reason why I'm not a big fan of using it uh, is, again, I'm going to be getting e about uh, 50 emails this week from all the people turning in their stuff. So, But nevertheless, I just want to make sure that we had a backup just in case you're not able to turn stuff in. So if you can't, just give me a heads up, and I'll refresh you on where this is. So that's pretty much the long and short of what we're doing today. Again, the, today's video is going to be pretty short as you're going to be busy enough with the task at hand, which is, again, the Adobe Illustrator Official Skills Test and the Salmon Skills Test. So, again, I want to just wish everyone good luck and looking forward to seeing the results. So, thank you very much, and I'll talk with everyone soon.